在东海岸一带的惹兰哈支惹，这里曾有一个马来甘榜，住了大概三四十户人家。甘榜的地主就是哈支惹女士 Madam h a j i j a 甘榜和路名就是以她命名的。哈支惹女士到底是谁？为什么会有一条路以她命名？ Kampung Ajija became popular when I think when she was just before she passed away. Lah, no, she passed away in the year 1931. The name actually became popular in that period. You know, like the British land surveyors when they want to open roads or they want to officiate roads, they will ask the local, the colloquials, or what what is this what name? Maybe the the locals they agree that this was Kampung Ajija or the rich lady. So the British surveyors all right, okay, Kampung Ajija. So that's how that's how road names were named before. Sarafian is a independent history researcher. He has a special interest in the Shichina region. Ten years ago, he met the daughter of the Hajira woman, Haniza. It gave him a deeper understanding of the Hajira village. The first time we met was after she saw my photograph on Facebook when I posted these photographs. Of Kampung Hajija, which I captured in the year 1986. So I, I started posting this picture on social media in the year 2009, and only in the year 2014 or 15, Haniza she came to my Facebook page. Then she told me that she was some of descendant of、uh, Madam Hajija of Kampung Hajija. So that really excited me. I was very surprised that、uh, when I showed her this picture of the lady sitting in front of a kitchen door. And there were cemeteries in front, you know. So when when I showed her this picture, and she said that like, this is my auntie, my uncle's wife.、Uh, what was the name? Ah,、uh? uh, we call her Chetme. Chetme. Because、uh? she's from、uh, Kelantan. So、uh, when I showed her this photograph,、uh, I mean, she she was quite surprised that I had this this piece of evidence,、uh. and that actually spurred me into asking her, why don't we go to Kapajja and have more stories?、Uh? But to our surprise, when we was we were there, it was totally urbanized. 哈支人女士，一八三六年出生，是一名地主，在新加坡多个地方拥有土地。虽然在铭文记载里没有记录她怎么富有起来，但是哈尼萨认为她可能是名商人，也拥有一些椰树园。Sometimes if I say maybe you don't believe lah. <laughs> Just this, this is a story. Because this is a story from what my my grandfather tell me lah.、Uh, Bedo area, Tampines, Pasir Ris, Tanah Merah, Siglap. So you were born, you were born here. Yes, but.、Uh, when did you leave this place? 1980. 1980s.、Uh? Yeah. Ah, that area, that place. Can I see you come? Yeah, come. Let's, let's see. Mana rumah? Mana esok rumahnya mana? Ah, kat sini lah.、Oh. Turun. Ah, so this is the longkang that you told me you used to play.、Eh? Yeah, yeah. From this longkang, where was your house?、Eh? My house is、uh, over there. Yeah. Okay, so your house over here, then you always play longkang here. Ah,、uh, yeah. So it appears that your house is actually near to the road. Yeah, but actually is inside. Like it's not really outside.、Oh, okay. It's just inside. After playing the at、uh, the longkang there,、mm. I will lie down.、Yeah. Then just waiting for the ice cream man. The uncle will come here. <laughs> yes. To have to have a lady, eh, having her name after a road, she must be more powerful than the men. Correct. It actually tells me、uh, that she's quite a well-to-do or yeah, quite a powerful、right. or influential woman. Or the banyak blue boy. Mhm. Yeah. Okay. So,、uh, okay, from where we stand now, I think I remember that Ruma, your auntie, eh, check me. Yeah. She was somewhere here. Yeah. Or、correct. Is it inside? Is it inside? Oh, it's inside.、Mm -hmm. And the. Provision shop, if I can recall, is somewhere around here. Provision site is inside. Oh, it's still there. It's still there. It's still there. Somewhere、uh, inside. Check me. I remember she told me that opposite here was the beach. All right.、Yeah. Actually, I can re I can recall from my I can even feel、uh, on my feet、uh, that this was a beach sand.、Uh. It was a white sand. Or even I mean, in front of a house, there was white sand. Correct. <laughs> Because the auntie last time that nenek house,、uh, hmm. you tak boleh jalan pun kat depan rumah dia. You、hmm. cannot. Walk. If you want to walk, yes, but you don't run in front of her house. A slippery. Ah,、eh? uh, slippery.、Mm. It's very nice sign. The last time I remember the last time when Chick Mac told me is don't run because of the yeah you see the slippery white sand.、Mm. Then there are tombstones all around、oh. in case you fall, falling hazard. 
you might hit the tombstone. I mean, you, you might hit your head on the tombstone. Mm -hmm. So that, that's the thing. Uh. And there is a mosque beside her. And beside her house also, there was this uh, uh, Makam Hajija. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. the well was actually just beside the mosque. It also serves as a community well. Uh, serves as a well for the mosque for them to take to take the ablution before they pray. So the well, the well was there. So I heard from stories also that say the well was the water was very clear, was very cooling, just like the well in Masjid Siglap. Haji Ren Nu Shi in 1931年去世,享年95岁。他离世的经过写在这张照片的背后,是哈尼萨爷爷在事发后亲笔写的。这个超过百年历史的回教堂还在原址。Just contribution to the society is quite, um, quite significant. Uh, and today we are at Siglap Mosque. And this Siglap Mosque here, we see here, the one in the green colour is actually built you know, uh, within the modern structure. So this mosque was actually established by Tok Lassam. Tok Lassam uh, who found this Kampong Siglap. Uh, but it was it was quite a small uh, surau. Uh, so as years went by, when Hajija started to donate, uh, she's a philanthropist. So one of the one of the places that she uh, donated was the ref refurbishment of this uh, masjid Kampung Siglap uh, to make it to concrete. Uh, that's what we see today. So today's uh, design was actually the contribution of uh, Madam uh, Hajija. So this has remained like a, a legacy of uh, not only to Alasam but mainly uh, Madam. Hajija. And this is the one of the oldest artifacts you can find around in uh, Siglap. <laughs>